Welcome back. You're still with us on GST Sent to Meet. And our simplification is the next priority on the GST Council's task list. This is what the Finance Minister of Bihar, Sushil Modi, told uh, CNBC TV 18 when Shreen Bhan and Timzi Jaipuria caught up with him after Dabur cut product prices. No, sir, we, have ide we had identified about 48 issues or functionalities. And they had given a timeline. And most of the issues that were required to be resolved by 20th of November, about 70% of the issues were resolved. Mm -hmm. And the remaining issues will be taken care of in the, in the coming days. So in okay. the last two months, there is a lot of improvement. And now the, uh, now the complaints are coming down. But mm -hmm. now, we've, now we have given them a different task to GST network. How okay. to simplify the processes and procedures. Mm -hmm. So now the compliance is a big issue. Because yes. earlier the rates, uh, was, uh, uh, rates were an issue. So after this uh, Guwahati uh, meeting, yes. I think 80% of the issues related with the tax rates has been resolved. Right. So now the major issue is the uh, compliances. Now the simplification. Okay. So now the so bottom line is simplification, expect... simplification, simplification. Okay. And this so simplification when can we expect changes as GST far as network. procedures are concerned, sir? When can we expect changes as no, far as procedures are concerned and what exactly are we looking at when you talk about simplification? So regarding returns, then regarding HSN code, then regarding matching of invoices. So a committee has been constituted under the chairmanship of Mr. Pandey, Ajay, mm -hmm. Ajay Bhushan Pandey, who is chairman of yes. GST also. So mm -hmm. he will take help of... Uh, uh, GST network also and other officials and in the coming one month they will so design can I start just a new a format which will be very very simplified so okay. uh, the emphasis is now on the simplification of the all the all kind of returns and okay. <laughs> especially this 3B GSTR1, GSTR2, GSTR3 right. then this right. composition returns so simplification hmm is the main bottom line for the coming okay. days. And I can okay. assure the dealers or the traders or the businessmen that in the hmm. coming days, the process and procedures will be more and more simplified. Okay. Uh, so you're talking about simplification, Mr. Modi, but let me also ask you, sir, then, about the possibility of further ra rationalization as far as rates are concerned. The chief economic advisor, as well as several other state finance ministers, have said that there is a possibility of collapsing or converging the 12% slab and the 18% slab. Is that the way forward? What is the timeline? What can we realistically expect? See, realistically, I feel, I personally feel that that, that it will take time. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, all of, because for, from 1st of July, GST mm -hmm. was launched. And right. more than 300 items have been reduced from one slab to another slab. And in the mm -hmm. last Guwahati meeting, there was a major decision regarding more than 170 items uh, bringing down from 20 to 18 percent. So mm -hmm. I think it will take some more time. We would like that the system stabilizes. And in the coming days, the fitment committee, if there is any yeah. memorandum, if there is any proposal, we can mm. think about, see, I don't think, uh, because the financial year is coming to an end, yes. 31st March uh, is the closing for this financial year. So I yes. think uh, in, the, in the next three, four months, we will see about the uh, buoyancy of the revenue, then about right. the rates also, how much revenue okay. we are getting. So all these things will be taken care of, and then we will so think in the next financial year, I think okay. because, see, I, I'm not talking on behalf of GST Council, I'm giving my personal sure. opinion, and sure. the mood of the GST Council. So for the mm. next three, four months, let the system mm. stabilize, and I think 80% so of the issues regarding tax rates have been reduced. And see, okay. even in the European so Union, even in Canada, yes. Australia, other countries, there are four yeah. and five slabs. So it is right. not an easy task that you will go immediately for two slabs so or three slabs. Okay. But ultimately, even if you don't you change the slabs, uh, 
Okay, even if you don't change the slabs just yet, can we expect that items like white goods, which currently continue to remain in the 28% slab, those will remain? Or do you believe in the next meeting perhaps we could see some movement on getting white goods, etc., out of the 28% slab as well? See, one thing I should make it clear, that earlier also, if you add excise duty plus VAT and some mm. other taxes and cascading, Mm. All these white goods were in the range of 26% to 31-32%. So it okay. is not that the taxes have been increased, but the right. earlier excise duty, which was mm. not visible, it was okay. a part of the price. Right. Now it is visible in the form of CGST. So when a consumer right. goes to buy a washing machine, he feels that yes. I'm paying 28%. So earlier also it was more than 28%. So Sure, understood, sir. My colleague Kinsey also has questions for you, so let me uh, ask you one final question from my end. Uh, which are the sectors that the GST Council has taken note of uh, where the benefits you feel haven't been passed on? The restaurant and the hospitality sector is clearly one. But are there other sectors where a majority of the complaints have come in? Uh, what, is, uh, what are the sectors under the radar, under the watch, so to speak? See, in the, on 15th of November, uh, about 175 items have been notified by reducing tax rates slab from 20 to 18 percent. Hmm. But I personally feel that these multinational companies or the manufacturers, most of them have not passed yeah. the benefit to the consumers. Because mm -hmm. Mr. Ramdas Paswan's mm -hmm. ministry, they had announced that they have to put two stickers, pre-GST and post-GST. And yes. yesterday only CBC Chairman Sarna <coughs> has written letters to the, all the, all the, all the yes. manufacturers, the big manufacturers. Yes. So I would, appeal, I would also personally feel, uh, and I would also appeal, and uh, I've got a complaint, so I would not like to name of those companies, that they okay. increase their base price. So okay. instead of okay. reducing the tax, passing the benefits, mm. uh, I've got some uh, invoices with me in which right. the FMCG big companies, they have reduced huh. their, their base price. And, what, and the next one okay. they are doing, instead okay. of reducing the tax rates, they are increasing yeah. the uh, quantity of the uh, uh, item, like soap, other okay. here, with a 200 okay. gram. So they are right. saying that we will giving it 250, 25 gram, but the okay. tax is, will, rates will be the same. So okay. I would Indeed? appeal, we don't want to take action against yes. this anti Profiting clause is there. So we once yeah. again warn all those companies, especially FMGC companies, and right. companies with this uh, chocolate and uh, yeah. uh, all these companies, if they will not pass right. these benefits in the coming days, our officials will visit the premises of those companies or the dealers, okay. and we will okay. be compelled to take action against those companies. All right. Okay. So let me, let me just take this discussion a bit forward when you're talking of profiteering and uh, companies not passing the benefit to the consumers. Do you think that uh, this is going to be the first task for the National uh, Anti-Profiteering Authority to sit with complaints, compile them sector-wise and then be start taking action because the authority has a lot of time. There are screening committees, then the, then the screening committee will submit the report to the authority. It is going to take some time for the authority also to form up a view and to come up with a decision whether they want to penalize the company who is not passing the benefit or not. But till that time, the customer is going to face the heat. How is the government going to sort this out for the customer? See, so only yesterday I talked to Mr. Adia, and he said that by tomorrow, hmm. ads are coming in the newspapers. So which are the items on which the tax lab is reduced from 20 to 18? And we will appeal the customers also. That when they visit a store, they hmm. should ask the dealers, uh, what, is the, what was the pre-GST hmm. rate and what is the post-GST rate? So it is a... It, it is the consumer which will force these companies. And I don't think these companies will dare to defy the orders of the central government. And only today I've seen some advertisements in some of the papers on the Daily News, English papers. Mm. And one major companies have mm. announced a reduction in the rates. So I think uh, in the next three, four days, mm. because they, will, they, they also require some time to uh, <laughs> transmit the information uh, down the line. So it may take hmm. another two, three days, 
but i think in the in this week you will find many of these items being reduced and i think uh, a proper signal has been given to those companies and i don't think these companies will hmm. defy these orders hello so as you speak of revenues uh, we have seen in the past that uh, the revenue loss of the states has started reducing in the guwahati meeting there was a detailed <coughs> presentation also given on the revenue loss uh, do you feel that uh, soon same because delhi is the only state right now which is in surplus the others are in revenue loss right now and there are talks that the revenue loss is going uh, to be there at least for this fiscal and putting a pressure on the fiscal deficit so what is your view that uh, with more compliance coming in do you see revenue loss to be uh, coming down from 17% to another say 10% or something see, I, personally the the, I personally feel that i personally feel that it will come down so i would appeal all the channels also mm -hmm. don't create hype regarding two taxes or one tax let this system of four or five tax rates should be stabilized and wait till 31st of march and then they will take stock of the situation and in the meantime making it more and more simpler mm -hmm. so a small sir, trader a small sir. businessman a small manufacturer or a hotel restaurant owner also they can file the returns easily because the entire revenue depends upon returns so to make it more uh, easy so that is the bottom line and i personally feel because uh, i uh, again i'm reiterating that mm. i'm not a spokesperson of gst council uh, only the mood of the gst council and see many of the ministers what they are talking inside the meeting and what they are speaking outside the gst council meeting so there may be many political mm, overtones mm. also but uh, each and every uh, finance minister they personally feel they let the system stabilize and if some items one two four items some items can be removed from this slab to that slab but i don't think in the coming two three months any major changes is required and we should wait because on the 1st of february the central budget will also be presented the final bill will be also yes, there so yes. it only two months left for the uh, central government's budget so we and all the state government's budget will also come Sir. in the month of february and march so we should wait for the budgets hmm. and we should wait for the final revenue figures by end by uh, end of this financial year and in the month of april may we can uh, we can assess what has actually happened how much losses are there how much compensation the states are getting how many states have remained uh, who has uh, who have covered their losses so i think in the month of mm, april mm. may only after assessing the entire revenue uh, gst council can think about anything else, any further thank you for talking to cnbc okay. sir thank you thank you